Hello and welcome. We are creating a SaaS for music publishers and documenting the whole process. I am covering software development topics. If you are not a software developer, you may find my topics too technical. You may find topics covered by these characters more to your liking. I have been using Django since 2008 and most of the projects I worked on. For a long time the documentation was misleading about one of the first important choices in a Django project, whether to make a custom user class or not. Now it makes sense. Don't do it for reusable apps, make reusable apps work with any class inheriting from abstract user. But for projects, don't think about it, do it. This is why I did not do it for DMP but in this project, we require a custom class. First, we don't want to have usernames and emails. Emails are required and will be used as usernames as well. Second, there will be three types of users, from the customer, from their clients and our support team. The first two will authenticate using the default authentication backend, while we will use a centralized one. Clients will be given read-only access to their own data only, so it will be per object. It will be covered at a later date, but we must acknowledge it now. A customer user will be assigned one of these four roles, administrator, who can manage other users, senior staff, who can do everything else, junior staff, who will be excluded from editing sensitive objects, like publishing agreements, and audit, who will have read-only access to everything. No custom permissions, it would make support a nightmare. Let us get to the interesting stuff. We created a new Django app called Goldoth, then added it to the installed apps and settings. We also set auth user model setting pointing to our new user class. We chose to use UUIDs for primary keys, as we want to have unique user IDs across all instances. Email field is set to be unique, and we have last and first name fields. Only the last name is required. We follow CWR logic here, I'll get back to this. Let's scroll down to the bottom of the class. We want to use Django's great permission system, but we want to simplify it. Instead of many-to-many -many relationship to groups, we use a foreign key. And call it troll, which is more appropriate. We have a many-to-many -many relationship to writers. Remember, we are still using vanilla DMP at this point so no publishers. But we are calling this field interested parties already, as it should point to both writers and publishers. The group's property is a small hack, so some things would work out of the box. Note the two last lines, very important stuff. That we use email as username. And that last and first name are required when we create users in the console. We will also have two custom authentication backends. One for our staff users, which is beyond this video series, and one for customer staff users and clients, which will be explained after a brief introduction into auth backends. Django Web Framework has many pluggable components, including authentication backends. The default one, model backend, simply checks username and password against the database, and then returns the permissions. Another typical example is to use a remote authentication service. Remember replacing M2M groups with foreign key, named roles? Well, that property we added does not cover all the cases, so we need to modify the default backend slightly. This just modifies the database query, according to the new schema. It is quite possible we will need to add more code here as we move on, but not much more. With 50 lines of code in the admin.py, we have the interface for staff users, note the role field, as well as the interface for client users, note the interested party selection. The details will be covered in a tutorial. Dave, what is your next video about? I don't know, just tell them to subscribe. The details will be covered in our very next video by Dave, link here. I mentioned DMP. If you don't know about it, here is a whole playlist. And another one. And our latest video. Goodbye. Damn. And he did not even tell them to subscribe and share. It really helps us. What did he say my video will be about?